This should be played at high volume, preferably in a residential area. What's up YouTube, Raheem the Rabbit here with another quick reaction video and welcome to the rabbit hole. Thank you. Thank you. At this time, I ask you to please smash that like button, also hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get alerted when I upload new content. Today we got a dope video for you, so let me minimize myself and let me bring this bad boy up. And we will be reacting to this video in three, two, one. I'm 41, and I can tell you, I can't recall. I come from a very Dominican household. Um, and all my life I've been hearing, fix the race, fix the race, fix the race. Since the age of like five or six, make sure that when you ever get married and you start having boyfriends, that the boyfriend is lighter skinned than you, so that when you have babies, that they come out lighter. Making me feel like there was something fucking wrong with me. Anyway, so I'm fresh... You know, I'm fresh in the Marine Corps. My Marine Corps career had just started. I finally got to start dating because I'm out of the house and I could do whatever I want, right? So, remember, I've been told since the age of six, no black men. Especially no American black men. Hold on. Being that this uh, episode is about colorism, I just want to ask a question to the audience. What is it about black men, and especially the black men who are productive citizens of the United States? I'm not talking about the criminals. I'm not talking about the gangbangers. I'm not talking about the drug dealers, the scammers, et cetera, et cetera. All the, you know, the negative aspects of any ethnic group of men. I'm talking about the productive men. What is it about the productive men that have you know, mothers, fathers, or grandmothers so scared of their daughters to date. Oh, no, he didn't. Miss Pigeon? Get the f*** out of here, man. Please. Please get the f*** out of here, man. I come home one day, uh, just on leave, vacation time. It was like Thanksgiving or something. And the man that I'm dating, six foot four, 240 pounds, Big black bald man. All in favor, raise your hand. So I had prepared him for the atmosphere that he was about to walk in on. So we get upstairs and they, they open the door. My mom is super nice and friendly, non-black. My father is darker than me. And they greet him nicely and they're all smiles in his face. But my boyfriend at the time can actually tell and feel that and I truly feeling him like that. I really told him exactly what I just prefaced this video with. They didn't want me dating black men because apparently black men is a no go, and I need to fix the race, and I need to lighten the skin. You, you, you get it. So, correct. Whoever told you this is correct. They don't want to. They don't. They don't even want us dating. They don't even want us talking to black men. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh. I wonder why is that? Can anybody of the Dominican ethnic group, male or female, can you guys explain to me why this message is being relayed to the daughters of, of our generation? 
you know, Generation X, you know, the millennials or the zennials. Why are you guys telling your daughters this when culturally and biologically y'all are mixed with the African diaspora? Execute order 66. Meanwhile, I'm a whole ass black woman. Like, anyway, I'm attracted to what I'm attracted to. I love black men. Black men will be it for me forever and a day till the end of time. All in favor, raise your hand. From infinity to infinity, it will always be black men. My mom and my dad can deal with it, live with it, because I even have a black daughter. So I don't know what. And shame on her parent for instilling this type of racist rhetoric into their daughter. Oh, no, he didn't. Miss Pigeon? You know, my generation is starting to wake up. Unfortunately, we still have idiots like the one in the prior video talking this crap and this anti-blackness. And this is the reason why you see me on this app, stepping on people's necks and, and calling people out and lighting fire up people's asses when they do this anti-black bullshit. Yep, that's right. I'm running things. I'm running things. Cream corn. That's why they call me that. Oh, shit. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, sis. Yep. This is, this is truth, and this is my reality, and it has been my reality for the past 41 years. Mm. <sighs> Never-ending story. Anyway, tenga buen día. I want y'all to go um, to the original video and... Go through this comment section. <laughs> the truth always comes out. Always. It never fails. That's right. All in favor, raise your hand. In reference to what this young lady is talking about, it's very strange and funny, comical even. When the truth comes out in this weird generation, it tends to offend people. Oh no, he didn't. Miss Pigeon? When they can't win an argument, this is what they do. This right here. They they go for some kind of attack. Porque, you know, anti-blackness in the Hispanic and Latin community do not exist. And they all are accepting of dating black people. Even when they're my complexion, we are told, because I have been told, to better the race. Mejora la raza. Oh shit. oh, shit! Oh, shit! Execute order 66. You can't handle the truth! The only dark person in a relationship should be you and you alone. Don't you dare bring a black man into my home. Don't you dare bring a black woman into my home. Don't you dare have black babies. Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, I'm saying. You need to fix it because there's obviously something wrong with you. But by looking at me, you will never tell, you can never tell, that my first language is Espanol. <laughs> that I eat mango instead of fufu. Eat that mango, baby. That I dance bachata instead of kazumba. All in favor, raise your hand. Not the kazumba. And shout out to uh, the brother in the background in the commentary, uh, J.R. Wisdom. If you get a chance, definitely subscribe to his channel. Shout out to you, my brother. Like, don't, don't play in our faces. This is the reason why I keep on people's necks. Audacity is on goddamn sale since the beginning of the year. But when I speak on this and people who look like me speak on this and have these experiences within our own communities, we're called crazy and are gaslit. Mm -hmm. Here it is, this man, this black man, is literally telling you that you are not his preference. Black African-American women, black women, period. Afro-Latinas is what he is preferred. That is his preference. That's what he is attracted to. That's what he wants to date. That's eventually what he wants to marry, if he's not already. Here you are trying to plead your case. All Hispanic women and, and black men are meant to be. And this is the reason why you hate us so much. No one hates your ass. Your delusional asses are not hated. This is the reason why you're in an imaginary battle by yourself. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You sound mad goofy right now. <laughs> anyway, just gonna clarify this.
this real quick because y'all ain't getting the point. The comments aren't passing the vibe check. Maybe it's the way I worded it. But my point was that the girl who said this to me told me that I shouldn't be wearing box braids because I'm not black. And this is coming from a black Dominican woman. But she herself doesn't consider herself as a black woman. Let me just dispel the ignorance that has been beaten into Dominican women and Puerto Rican women. Newsflash, you guys are black. You can't handle the truth. Oh shit. oh shit! I'm gonna say it again. If you're Dominican and Puerto Rican, you're black. The way the world looks at you as a whole, I don't care if you're bright, white, light skin or whatever, whatever, but you're black. It takes three of the mixing of the bloodlines to create one of you guys. You know what I'm saying? The African diaspora. The Spaniard and the Taino makes a Dominican person and or Puerto Rican. Jeez, what is it that you guys can't get about that? Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh. I think she's just Dominican. But I know and I consider myself Afro-Latina. So yes, I am black. So I was baffled when she said that I shouldn't be wearing braids because I'm not black. And I'm looking at her like, girl, I am. You are. Y'all should know by now that some dark Dominicans don't consider themselves to be black. Which is so sad because they don't know their history and they're just being ignorant about it. This is I know that's right. Rest in peace, Bernie Mac. You already know what it is. Miss that brother. Yes, and in closing, I will say this. Uh, colorism is real. <laughs> Allegedly, or apparently, right? Colorism is real in the dating market. And unfortunately, black men are America's social punching bag. So... I'll end with saying this. You're going to love who you're going to love, right? Love, they say love has no color, but apparently love does have a color, right? Me, I'm human. Whoever I choose to date, ask for me to bear and make my bed and lay in it. So for the women and men who choose to quote unquote date out, just understand that if you bring children into the world, this is the conversations that you are going to have with your children. And you're going to have to explain colorism on top of racism and prejudice and being bigoted, etc., etc. It's a conversation that we can't avoid, unfortunately, in America. Missy! And with that being said, that is the end of this reaction video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button on the way out. Also hit the like button and the notification bell so you can get alerted when I upload new content. And I will definitely see you guys on the next episode of The Rabbit Hole. This should be played at high volume, preferably in a residential area.